All right, well, as women get older and hit menopause, getting rid of belly fat becomes more difficult. It can be really frustrating, but there is hope, and it might be as easy as just switching up your diet a bit. The book, Menopause, uh, featuring five unique eating plans to break through your weight loss plateau, was released this week. And the author, OBGYN, Dr. Anna Kabeca, is joining us live with all the tips. Doctor, nice to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's just talk about it. What causes a woman going through menopause to hit a weight loss plateau where it just feels impossible? Yeah, right in perimenopause and menopause, what's happening is our main reproductive hormones, progesterone, estrogen, even testosterone, are on this decline and our um, inflammatory hormones, insulin and cortisol are on the increase. Mm -hmm. And so that shift, that seesaw and that shift in hormones create the belly fat weight gain and more weight loss resistance. Okay, mm -hmm. so Dr. Kaveka, help us out here because can changing your diet actually help with these symptoms, especially for menopause? Absolutely, absolutely. We need to really shift our diet away from being very carbohydrate heavy and glucose dominant, as well as incorporating intermittent fasting. Mm. And those two things, and I call it the keto green lifestyle, those, those things can really shift your metabolism, improve it, and get you feeling better. All right, so somebody says, what does keto green mean? You have five eating plans that can help women just kind of take control, which is what's so important. So how do you know which one would be right for you? Yeah, so really identifying kind of what your symptoms are. Are you plant-based eater? Um, are you high in carbs? Do you have autoimmune disease or Hashimoto? So at the beginning of each chapter in menu pause, there's a little quiz there to, to ask you, okay, this may be right for you if, but ideally we go through all five plans because shifting things up can really help remove obstacles and, uh, and help us figure out what's not working for us. I love how you call them eating plans and not necessarily diets, because when people hear diets, they're like, oh no, I can't do it. So let's start with the first one, the Keto Green Extreme Plan. What is it and who can benefit from this? So with Keto Green in general, that's healthy fats, high quality protein. We need protein for our brain and muscle, so that's critically important. And fats keep our blood sugar stable, so we're not having hormone swings, mood swings, and cravings. <laughs> And then the healthy greens and keto green extreme, it takes it another level to avoid all nightshades, which can be inflammatory, especially if you have Hashimoto's or an autoimmune condition. Oh, that's good to know. I mean, people hear me talk about this all the time because I'm right in this area and it really, it's a real thing. The eating makes a difference. So the next one's a little bit different. It's a keto green plant-based, it's a detox, so correct? Yeah, absolutely. One of the biggest problems women have as we get older and in general at all ages is constipation. We don't want to talk about it, but having healthy fiber and plant-based foods and incorporating that actually feeds our gut bacteria, can improve gut motility and help you detox. And because when we're constipated, we're reabsorbing estrogen and that is um, high risk. So third, we have the carbohydrate pause. Mm. Who does this actually work for? Okay, so oftentimes when we have a decrease or problems with digestion, it's hard to digest those dark green leafies. Or if we have psoriasis or eczema, going on a complete plant pause and, and focusing on carbohydrate, you know, carnivorous eating for six days, the plants are six days, can really go a long way to heal the GI motility and heal the skin. All right, then we have the uh, keto green cleanse for some people. And the cleanse is super, especially if you are ready to do an extra detox and again, healing healthy digestion for a glowing complexion. So it really is one of the best, um, you know, aging plans that we can do for six days. It's cleansing, it's detoxing, and also very insulin sensitizing. All of the plans are, but especially the cleanse. Okay, so finally, we have the carbohydrate modification plan. Who should do this? It's totally my favorite plan. It was my favorite plan to create. <laughs> and oftentimes when we've carbohydrate restricted or on a ketogenic, keto green lifestyle for too long, adding carbohydrates back in a healthy way, like the root vegetables, sweet potatoes, is very beneficial. We can actually get better sleep and improve our workout. So that's a good one, especially if we've been restricted for too long. Oh, I love it. All right, there's a lot of answers there. Yeah. We've got a lot of plans. Dr. Anna, thanks so much for talking about this very important topic with us and your book, Menu Pause, available right now. And congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.